All right, the first free response question, the first two free response questions are both calculator active. So get those calculators available. It wants the rate of change of E when T is seven. With your calculator, it can calculate that because they gave you what E is. So you're going to go ahead and use the math eight option, find the derivative for you when X is seven, or in this case, when T is seven. Go ahead and type in math eight. Type in this function into the derivative. Say I want the derivative of this function when x is 7 and I got 6.165. It did talk about units of measure. So again, because we are taking, it said this was a rate. The rate that cars are entering was e, and they wanted e prime. We're talking about the rate of the rate, or cars per hour per hour. In B, they're asking about how many cars enter the parking lot from time t equals 0 to 12. Well, they gave us the rate that the cars are entering as e of t. And if I integrate a rate, I get a position or I get a quantity or an amount, right? So it says how many cars enter. So I'm going to integrate my e of t, and again, I get to use my calculator, from 0 to 12. Go ahead and type that in your calculator. Get yourself three decimals. I got 520.070. But then I realized they wanted their answer to the nearest whole number, so that'd be 520 cars. This problem is talking about the rate, I'm gonna move some things, the rate that cars enter a parking lot. Um, and then, let's see, um, the rate at which they leave the parking lot is um, shown in the table. So the rate that they're leaving the parking lot is shown in the table, and that's what we took uh, the trapezoidal sum of. It was used, um, they gave us the information about the number of cars entering, or this was, uh, my bad, the rate that the cars were entering the parking lot. So again, if I integrate, part C asks us to use a trapezoidal sum with four subintervals. When I see four, I think, all right, one, two, three, four. From 2 to 12, that sounds good because we've got from 2 to 12, that's all of my data. Using correct units, then we've got to explain what that means. Okay, well again, the area of a trapezoid, it's just like a triangle, but we've got two bases. One half base is times height. So I say one half tight height times the sum of the bases. The area of the trapezoid is going to be one half, I'm going to fact that out. My height is going to be the distance on my x values. So my first height, I'm going to again factor out that one half, is 3. The sum of its bases are 15 and 40. My next trapezoid has a height of, four, height of 9 minus 5, which is 4. Its bases are 40 and 24. My next trapezoid has a height of 2, bases of 24 and 68. And my last trapezoid has a height of 1, bases of 68 and 18. Again, you have a calculator that you could plug that into. You also don't need to get a final answer. AP would accept what we have. If you do plug this in, I get 345.5. And then they said, all right, we need to explain what the heck we just found in the context of this problem. And if we remember, so what we're dealing with here is when you integrate that rate, again, you get a quantity. So my integral from 2 to 12 of L of t dt is the amount of cars leaving the parking lot from t equals 2 to t equals 12 hours. Or you could say over this 10 hour span, whichever you prefer. D says, for the first six hours, $5 are collected from each car entering the parking lot. And then from hours six to 12, $8 are collected from each car entering the parking lot. How many dollars are collected from the cars entering the parking lot from zero to 12 hours? So again, we know that enter rate, if I integrate a rate, I get an amount. So if I integrate the cars entering my lot, from zero to six. That's gonna tell me how many cars entered my parking lot from zero to six hours. And I'm making $5 for each of them. So I'm gonna multiply that integral by five. 
And then from six to 12, I'm making $8 per car that is entering my parking lot. So again, when you integrate a rate, I get a, an amount. So this is telling me how many cars from zero to six hours entered the lot and I'm making $5 for each of them. And then this is telling me how many cars entered my lot from six to 12 hours and I'm making $8 for each of them. I'm gonna plug this exact thing into my calculator and I got three, five, three, zero, $3,530 because they asked us to give our answer to the nearest whole dollar.